Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome guys to this uh, lesson. Right, so if you guys are not familiar with my YouTube channel, my name is Liaqat Zaman. Roots of Knowledge is where I upload all of my videos that I make so that you guys can benefit from them and it's all free of charge. Um, if you guys like the videos that I make or you're interested in even checking out the videos, then please check out the videos, share it with others as well. And let's go on with this series. This series is dedicated to helping you guys understand how to understand fiqh basically. So this is from the text Muhtasar al-Quduri. Without any delay, let's start. So here are today's questions for you guys. Zaid gave his zakat to a person assuming that he was poor, then found out he was rich. Is his zakat done? Okay, so this is a um, question for you guys. Uh, number two. What if a person gave their zakat to their son but couldn't recognize him? Can you give zakat to someone that has only 20 cows? Can you give zakat? It's supposed to be can you give. Can you give zakat to someone who owns 100 pounds only? When can you give your zakat to people abroad? All right, so that's quite straightforward. Answers might be a bit difficult, but don't worry. Inshallah, by the end of this video, you'll understand them. Okay, so dafa'a yadfa'u, it means to to take or to hand over or to pass anything, you know, that kind of meaning. Uh, and then you have rajul, uh, rajul, you guys should know what rajul is. Dhanna yadhunnu, so dhanna yadhunnu, it means to assume, right? so to assume something, to have assumptions about something. Assume dhanna yadhunnu. And then you got the word faqir, faqir, which you guys should know, ghani, you guys should know, hashimi, we did that last time, so you guys should know, uh, kafir, we definitely should know that one, dhulma, it means darkness, right, so in the darkness, dhulma, bana yabino, this is a fi'l, bana yabino, to become clear, and then you have i'ada, uh, which means to repeat, Al-Iyada to repeat. Then you got shakhs, which is a person. You got Mukatab, which is a, a slave, as a contractual slave. Lam yajuz jaza yajuzu jami'an altogether. And then you got Wala yajuzu dafu zakati. Yeah, and then he goes on. Yamliku aqalla. Aqalla means less or isn't of thil, least. Sahih means healthy, opposite of marid. Muktasab or muktasib means someone who can earn or someone who is earning. Then you got naql, which means to transfer. Balad means city or country. Akhar means other. Tafarraqa, yatafarraqo or tafarraq. It means to distribute. And then you've got, what else is here? Okay, Qawmin, Insan, Qawm means people, Qarabatihi means his relations or relatives, Ila uh, Thum, Thum means garlic, but this is a mistake, it's a typo guys, it's not Thum, Ila Qawmin is supposed to be, not Ila Thum before you guys get excited, All right, so it's actually Qawm, people, yeah, Ahwaj, it means most in need, <coughs> most needy, Ism Tafdeel, Okay, alright, so let's look at the key of this then. So Abu Hanifa Abu is Mudaf and Hanif is Mudaf Ilayhi and then Qal is the fail and that's the file. Hanifata is Ghail Munsarif as you know. Muhammadul is Ataf unto Abu and then Ida Dafa Zakata, so Dafa Yadfa Fi Al Zakat is the Mafool Bihi. Ila Rajulin Rajulin is the Majroor. Dhanna Yadunnu. Okay, Fakiran. Fakiran is the um uh, Maful bihi of dhan. And then, thumma bana, bana yabinu, annahu ghaniyun is the khabar, ha shimiyun, uh, which is the ma'tuf, or onto the khabar, kafirun, ma'tuf again, dafa'a fi dhulmatin jar majroor, ila faqirin, majar majroor, bana yabinu, annahu abuhu is the khabar, or ibnuhu ataf. فَلَا إِعَادَةَ So لَا is لَا نَفِيَ الْجِنْسِ إِعَادَةَ is the ism of لَا 
وقال أبو يوسف so أبو يوسف is مضاف مضاف إليه becomes the file of قال عليه is the خبر and الإعادة is the مبتدأ ولو دفع دفع يدفع إلى شخص ثم عالم أنه عنده عنده hmm? no, no strong can't be عنده that's actually another mistake guys so correct this one it's actually supposed to be عبده right, so maybe in the copies that you guys have got it's عبده if it is put in the comments أنه عبده that makes sense so now let's change that then so it can't be فتحة ضمة أنه is the اسم and عبده is the خبر أو مكاتبه so it's عطف أنت عبده لم يجوز جاز يجوز في قولهم جميعا all together ولا يجوز دفع الزكاة دفع مضاف مضاف إليه becomes the file of يجوز إلى من يملك ملك يملك نصابا يعني نصابا من أي مال مضاف مضاف إليه كان ويجوز دفعها is the file of فعل إلى من يملك أقل من ذلك وإن كان صحيحا صحيحا is the خبر of كان مكتسبا yes that's the خبر as well two خبرس ويكره is نائب فعل النقل زكاة مضاف مضاف إليه becomes نائب فعل من بلد إلى بلد آخر so let me know why this is آخر with the فتحة why is it آخر with the فتحة put in the comments below uh, وإنما تفرق تفرق is the فعل مجهول صدقة كل قوم مضاف مضاف إليه becomes an نائب فعل إلا أن ينقلها الإنسان إنسان is the file of ينقل عند إلى قرابته جار مجرور إلى قوم هم أحوج اسم تفضيل من أهل بلده Okay so let's look at this مسألة then So first of all uh, Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Muhammad are on one side and Imam Abu Yusuf are on another side So what is the مسألة? The مسألة basically is this Imagine there's a guy and this guy he wants to give his zakat to someone and he sees someone, goes up to him, assuming that he is eligible to receive zakat. He gives him his zakat. Then later on, he finds out, oh no, this guy is not eligible to give to receive zakat. Why? Because he is rich. Like, rich meaning he has more than the nisab. Or number two, he is a Hashimi. Meaning he is from the Banu Hashim, all those families that we mentioned last week. He belongs to one of those. Or he is a kafir, meaning a disbeliever. Because right? you can't give zakat to any of these three categories. So for example, like let's say he gives zakat to this individual thinking that he was eligible. Later on he found out that he wasn't. What does he do? Does he have to repeat that zakat again? How does this work? So Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah and Imam Muhammad rahimahullah, they basically say that... Um, no need for repeating. Oh, I missed one out. Father and son, yeah. So, for example, like, let's say a guy was to, I don't know, give zakat to a guy. He couldn't recognize him. So, it's dark, couldn't recognize him. He just handed him zakat and walked away. Uh, would his zakat be done if he found out later on that this guy was his father or this guy was his son? Or, you know, sometimes online someone is uh, asking people for financial support and someone else gave them zakat and then realized later on that that was their son or that was their father. So Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Muhammad, they say that the zakat is done and no need to repeat the zakat again. Because at that particular moment in time, you know, what could you have done? Right? You tried your best, you did what you could, and so your zakat, inshallah, is accepted. Imam Abu Yusuf rahimahullah says, no, he must repeat his zakat again. Person, person must do their zakat again because he clearly has made a mistake. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. All right, so one more scenario. Let's say, for example, there's a guy. You've given him your zakat, and later on you found out this was your slave or your mukatab, your contractual slave. Is the answer going to be the same? Obviously, Imam Abu Yusuf would say no. You, you've got to do the zakat again. And Abu Yusuf, Abu Hanif and Muhammad, what would they say? So everyone says that the zakat must be repeated. Both Abu Hanifa and Abu, Abu Muhammad and Abu Yusuf. All of them say that zakat has to be done again because 
The slave's wealth literally belongs to the master. So if a master gives his slave wealth, it's as though he's actually giving himself the wealth. And that clearly is something that can be redeemed. وَقَالَ أَبُوْ يُوسُفُ أَبُوْ حَنِيفَ الْمُحَمَّدِ Imam Abu Hanifa and Muhammad say, إِذَا دَفَعَ الزَّكَاتِ If a person, when a person gives their zakat, إِلَى رَجُلٍ to a man, يَظُنُّهُ فَقِيرًا Assuming, believing that he's a faqir, ثُمَّ بَانَ And then it became clear, أَنَّهُ غَنِيٌ That no, he's actually a ghani, rich, or hashimi, or kafirun even, or, or even, دَفَعَ il, If he ظُلْمَةٍ He gave the zakat in darkness to a faqir, to a poor person, or, and then realized, Thumabana, then it became clear to him, Annahu Abuhu, that was his father or son, Fala i'adata alayhi, then there is no need for repeating the uh, zakat again. Now, according to Imam Abu Yusuf, Rahimullah, on the other hand, he says, Alayhi al ayada. in all these scenarios, you must give the uh, zakat a second time, and the first time is not done. Okay. What if you give it low dafa ila shaksin? If he was to give his zakat to a shaks to a person, thumma then alima realized annahu abduhu that this was his slave, or this is a mukatab, lam yajuz. This would not be permissible zakat would not be done fi qawlihim in all of their statements. Jamian, meaning everyone agrees on this one. There is no ikhtilaf on this one, but there is ikhtilaf on the previous ones that we mentioned. Okay, next. Um, can a person give their zakat to someone who has a nisab as well? So if you remember, we've, we talked about the nisabs previously, the nisab of camels and the nisab of cows and goats and gold and silver and business stock and crops. So let's say, for example, someone possesses, someone wants to give their zakat and they found two people. One of these two people is someone who actually possesses the nisab. Right, so he actually has, let's say, a certain number of animals or a certain amount of money. So let's say the nisab, for example, in cash is 400 pounds nisab. And there's a guy who actually owns 500 pounds. Yeah. And the zakat giver actually knows this guy's got 500 pounds. And there's another guy who's only got 200 pounds. So can this zakat giver give his money to both of these? No, he can't. He can only give it to the one who possesses less than the nisab. As for the other guy, he cannot give him his zakat because he is not eligible to receive the zakat. So he says, It's not permissible zakati to hand over the zakat to a person that possesses the nisab or a nisab. One of the nisabs that we mentioned. Min malin, Whichever wealth you want. So all those wealths that we talked about. Camels, cows, goats, uh, gold, silver, crops. And business stock, any one of those, in any man can. All right. Where yajuzu, however, is permissible to give it to man yamlik, a person who possesses aqalla less than min dalik, than that. So if you possess less than that, then you can give him your zakat because technically he is eligible. Even if, what if he is healthy, fully healthy, strong, he's actually earning or potentially can earn. Can you still give him your zakat or can you only give your zakat to someone who doesn't have a job? No, you give your zakat to anyone who does not possess the nisab, even if he is healthy and even if he is working or potentially can work, is healthy enough to work and is unemployed, you can give your zakat to the employed or the unemployed. Right. Uh, finally, let's say there's a person who lives in the city. And then there is someone else who lives in another sea. And this guy should normally give his zakat to the people in his own locality. Right, so you give your zakat locally, you shouldn't give your zakat abroad unless, right, so normally don't give it abroad unless the people abroad in the other city or the other country are uh, related to you, your relatives, so your brothers or sisters, your uncles, aunties, nephews, nieces, etc., uh, you can give them or the people in the other city and country are more in need of your zakat than your local people. If that's the case, then transferring your zakat to a different des destination, location is actually permissible. And there you have it. That is today's lesson. So let's just finish this off then. So what you and it's considered to be highly offensive, naklu zakate to trans 
support your zakat min baladin from one city to or country to another akhar wa inma tufarraq it should only be distributed the sadaqa of every people should only be distributed amongst them illa unless an yanqulaha al insan when a person a person wants to transfer it to his relatives qarabati aw ila qaumin aw to a people hum ahwaju who are more in need min ahli baladihi than the people of his city and that's it basically that is today's lesson guys i hope lesson makes sense or should we covered about the concept of mistakenly giving your zakat to someone what what happens there we talk about who you can give your zakat to does you have to have an hisab or not and we talked about finally about transferring your zakat from one location to another right let's check out those questions that we promised zaid gave his zakat to a person assuming that he was poor then found out that he was rich is his zakat done think about that one what if a person gave their zakat to their son but couldn't recognize him right then later on they found out can you give zakat to someone that has only 20 cows can you give zakat to someone that owns 100 pounds only when can you give zakat to people abroad zakum la khair guys for watching this video i uh, you know really appreciate you guys taking your time out to watch the whole video and thank you to all my patrons for all the support that you guys have shown my channel if any of you guys want to become patrons support my channel help the work that i do and even check out the work if, if you like the work that i do you can share it with other people as well then check out the description uh, there's links there for patron where you can become a monthly donor to the channel or you can even become a one off supporter of the channel jazakum allah khair thank you very much guys really appreciate it and see you guys next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh